Hi, this is Sander, CEO of Unless.com, and today I will share with you how we managed to raise pre-seed funding last year. As you may know, Unless is a personalization engine for websites. You can create tailored variations uh, of your existing web pages for your diverse audiences in order to increase your conversion rates dramatically. Um, of course, um, last year our product wasn't that good yet. So we needed some money to uh, keep things going until we could release the next version. So we decided to raise funding. You can do this in many ways. You can, for example, um, uh, call a VC fund and ask them to invest in you. But typically they will say something like, yeah, it's kind of early, so we're going to wait a while until you show traction and so on and so forth. Um, so other options may be like angels, um, friends and family, or even crowdfunding. I love crowdfunding. You know, crowdfunding is really awesome. You just um, show people uh, a great product and they will give you money in return for a possible future uh, gain or maybe like the first version of the product, which is super awesome. However, our product, product is kind of hardcore technology based. So it kind of misses the cuddliness that successful crowdfunding projects sometimes need to get money from just about anybody. So we decided to do it differently. We coined the term in crowdfunding and what does that mean? We made this giant list of peers from the startup scene in Amsterdam. Um, and by peers, I mean experts in anything that has anything to do with startup life. So for example, programmers, but also UX designers, financial experts, and even legal people. All these things you kind of need, right? We had a few rules. Um, we were only going to pitch once, so then it was either go or no go. The ticket size was going to be 5,000 euros or more. Um, and in the, um, the agreement was a safe agreement, Y Combinator style, which is essentially a simplified version of a convertible note. And in return for that, you would become a member of the peer fund and be entitled to certificates according to the amount of money that you invested. So we started emailing, calling people, and within three weeks, we managed to raise almost 300,000 euros uh, as an investment, which was pretty successful in our eyes. Um, and to this day, the members of our peer fund are helping us out. It goes that far that we even open sourced our code for our peer funders. So if you're in the peer fund and you're a programmer and you would like to contribute with your expertise, you can simply access our code and start building features. Um, so, if you're a startup founder and you would like to try the same thing, uh, give me um, a call or send me an email at sonder at unless.com and I will give you all the information that I have and hook you up with the right people. So, I will probably speak to you soon.